Hey guys, this is the Earth Elemental. And today's video is going to be a showcase of the free animation pack for Lego Animation. Now, I have some Lego characters that's already been animated by me, and I'm going to give it out to you guys and show you how to use it for your own animation. So, first, we'll show off what it actually is. So, right now, I'm going to show off the fighting animation, which is only three so far, but it will be more in the future. So, this will be a uppercut, this will be a fighting stance, and this will be two punches. Alright, and it has names of the actual animations. If you can, so, when you get a Blender file, you can just pick from it, and it will show the frames that it will be. So, it will be 50 frames with a backflip, which will show next. Now, here is the backflip. And this is an animation that where you basically breaking your knuckles, popping your knuckles, if you want to say. This is a serious walk. This is a run cycle. Right here's a walk cycle. These two are just looking around and standing. And this one right here is when you're talking to somebody. So these are called the regular animations. Now the superhero animations I only have two so far. It is very short, but basically it's just this one is flying and this one is leaping from the ground. Next is the ability animations, and I have three. Two of them is basically the same, but this one right here you just basically start off with you like charging some power in the back, and you throw it. And of course these two right here. I had to spin these two animations. It's just that this one is looped longer than this one. So, the next one would be the dances emotes. I only have the emotes right now, but there will be more dances coming soon. And I'll show you guys what these dances are. And he did a wave right here. And the last one I did is the reaction. And this one is when you get shot in the head, and this one when you get stabbed in the chest by like a sword or something. And they both fall to the ground. So to actually use this, you have to go and make another blender. Or you can use it in a wait, you gotta use it in another blender. You can get, of course make two if you have it downloaded or as, uh, as a software and not on Steam, but you can use Steam as well. So let's go ahead and pin a character. All right, so I got a character, and what I'm gonna do is delete everything right here except for this rig. And there's two ways you can actually do this. You can actually first go to the animation. So I'm gonna do backflip. Go to pose mode, press A to select all the bones, and press A to highlight to select all the keyframes. Then you copy or right click and press copy. Then you go here, go to pose mode, and in the timeline you'll paste it. But sometimes it doesn't work. So the actual way to, the best way to actually do it is to basically copy it from the animation blend file. You'll, cop, you'll actually copy the whole thing, the whole rig, and you'll paste it in your file. And, you, and if you see these, you can just delete them. So, we're going to move him a little closer, if we can. Uh, looks like he's staying there for now. Oh. Okay. Hopefully he doesn't move. Okay. Now, we're going to copy this. Well, we're actually going to retarget the animation. Now, we can retarget it by using the Recoco Blender plugin. And you'll be able to use this to retarget the animation. So, we're going to go to Recoco. You're going to retarget it. The source will be the animation, and the target will be the new one. You press Build Bone List. Everything will be fine. So, you ought to do next is just retarget animation. And of course, the head will be in a different spot. But you, all you gotta do is just put it back, and it'll be still, it'll be good. It's still connected to the rig. It's just a little glitch. But now, the purple did a backflip. Now, 
another thing you want you probably want to do is like if you have your own animation so I say I have the purple ninja do a dance and I want him to do a backflip you can retarget it you can retarget it but you have to copy the animation keyframes first and then retarget and then select it and then go to an empty spot and paste and you just have to move it around to where you want it and of course move the head back where it should be and there you go he's doing a dance and he flips now of course there's some things that's probably messing up like this you can fix that of course uh, let's see let's put that on yeah stop right here all right there's his dance and he flips of course you can edit it as much as you want you can move the rig down as you want as well so let's try to actually All right, it is looking pretty good. It's of course glitches and things that mess it up, but for the most part, is way better than actually using the mixable animations. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I'll make more animations if, if you guys request it, of course. If you want any specific animation, I'll try to make it. And I'll see you guys later.